that shall relieve you of the pain and help in the healing. But be rest assured that you can most definitely not walk for the next few weeks, let alone going to the Tree of Life. But someone needs to go, otherwise we are all doomed. Mother, I will go. Everyone in that room was shocked. What? Don't be silly. Yes, that's what I told your mother. Mother, you have always taught me to be brave and courageous and do everything to preserve nature. How can you not let me go when the time to do all of that is now? Linda was quiet, for she did not have an answer. St. Wormwood caressed her hand as he removed a map from his pocket. You are brave just like your mother. If you are determined to go, then have this. What's this? This is the magical map. It will show you your directions towards the Tree of Life. It will also show you how much ice cup is underwater while you are on your way. This will keep you on your toes, alarmed and determined. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But remember, you are not to lose it at any cost. For if you do, you will never find your way back to Ice Cup. My child, you do not have to do this. I have to, Mother. I must. Please take care of Zulky while I am away. I promise to return soon. But, my love, you don't have to leave now in the night. You can leave in the morning. We don't have time, Mother. I have to leave now. Hope hugged her mother and said goodbye. St. Wormwood gave her a magical umbrella while Mrs. Cherry gave her a bag full of fruits. When Hope reached the shore of the ocean, she waved goodbye to St. Wormwood and began her journey. Hope and her little raft braved the strong winds and the giant waves, slowly getting closer to her destination. She held on for dear life as a hurricane blew around her and she held on as she traveled through the whirlpool waters until the Tree of Life Island was in sight. Ah, I am finally here. Just as she was nearing the island, a mighty storm blew, and no matter how hard Hope tried, she could not hold on any longer and was washed away. As poor Hope opened her eyes, she saw that she was on the Tree of Life Island and the sight of the tree filled her with hope. But getting there, did not seem easy. She looked at the magical map and saw that her little town of Ice Cup was nearly halfway under the sea. And on the other hand, Glow War was raking havoc on the ice caps, melting them with his heat waves, making the seas rise even higher. Oh no, I must hurry. Ice Cup does not have much time. Determined, Hope began walking towards the tree. Cold, chilly winds were blowing but Hope did not stop. I will not give up. Everybody is counting on me. She went on and on till the winds became so cold that frost started forming on her. The cold frost slowly began covering her completely and she began to freeze solid. Scared and cold, Hope looked frantically for something she could use. When she felt the handle of the magical umbrella that St. Wormwood had given her, she pulled out the umbrella, and just before she froze completely, she managed to press its button. The umbrella opened instantly, and a wave of heat cleared away all the frost from her body, and she felt healed. She looked towards the sky and said, Thank you, Saint Wormwood. Using the umbrella as a shield against the cold winds, Hope walked on till she finally reached the Tree of Life. The ancient tree looked magnificent, untouched by the cold surrounding it. It was lush, green, and alive. She approached the tree and said, Oh, ancient one, heed my call. I come to ask your help in defeating the evil global warming monster, the one who was called Glow War. Who awakens me from my deep slumber? Who are you, child? Who has braved the storms and the cold to get here? I am Hope of Ice Cup, and I come to ask for your help. Please save us from Glow War. 
I can help you, but I will need something in return. What is that which you clutch in your arms so dearly? This? This is the map that will lead me back home. Without it, I am lost. Then that is what I need. Give me the map, and I shall destroy the vile monster. Okay. Here. What? Don't you need it to get back home? I, I do, but if I don't give it, I, I won't have a home to get back to. So, here. You amaze me, child. The cold and the storms are minor issues for seekers, but this is the test that all else fail. Where they hold on to their possessions with dear life, you readily gave it up without a second thought. Yes, I will help. Saying this, the tree of life closed her eyes. The leaves rustled, and refreshing winds blew as the tree reached out to her children all across the world, bringing them back to life. Saplings became trees, and dried trees sprang back to life. The Gigi friends, seeing their beloved tree friends, rushed to greet them, leaving the skies. At that moment, Glow War's energy weakened as the temperature of the world began to come back to normal. He slowly succumbed to deep sleep and became nothing more than a rock in the landscape. Soon the world began to heal and grew green and strong. You have nothing to fear anymore, my child. You may now return to your home safe. Here, you will need this. Saying so, the Tree of Life returned the map to Hope. She was overjoyed. Oh, thank you, my dear grandmother. You truly are a wondrous being. I will always help your children wherever I go. Thank you, child. If only everyone thought as you do. Please promise me that you will spread awareness amongst people around the world to take good care of nature. I promise. Hope and the Tree of Life wished each other well. Hope checked her magical map and saw that Ice Cup was coming out of the water. She happily began her journey back home. By the time Hope reached Ice Cup, all was well again. Hope was delighted and the people welcomed her with open arms. Hope rushed to see her mother. Mother, you are here. I was so afraid. My child, I am so happy to have you in my arms again. You truly saved us. You really have a strong and brave daughter, Linda. She has completely taken after you. And I'm not sure if that's entirely a good thing. Everybody laughed. Hope was content to see everyone happy and smiling. Later that night, while Linda put Hope to sleep, she said, Mother, I wish to go out of Ice Cup. Why, my child? You have just returned. I don't want Glow War to wake up again, so I will go travel around the world and spread the Tree of Life's message. And what is that? To protect her children, the trees. The only way to stop Glow War from ever waking up again is to plant more trees, not cut them down. The cities must stop using fossil fuels and use our friends, the Golden Angels, for energy, along with the mighty winds and the fierce waters. But that too, in moderation, to decrease the use of harmful chemicals. If we do that, we will never heat up the world again. Oh, and you are going to do all of that alone? Marsh, Tom, Cradle, Johnny, and Lindsay also want to come with me and help spread awareness. Oh, aren't you the best? I wish you luck on your journey, but just for tonight, why don't you be my little baby, Hope, and sleep with your mother? Of course. I'll always be your little baby, Hope. Saying this, the mother and daughter slept peacefully, warming each other's hearts. Early next morning, the golden angels of the sun came down on Earth. The Gigi friends hugged them, and everything was back to the way it was supposed to be. Through her bravery and will to save nature, Hope did her part and proved that we must all work towards saving the Earth by doing our bit. <laughs> <laughs>